Glad of War in Spring A cock perched between the eyes of an eagle crows as the sky traveler buries his speech between Freya's thighs. He grips her hips, she grips his wrists as forked red hair moves like wildfire, devouring that amber patch of folk vein between a pair of pale cliffs. Behind her, Hair spreads across the bed in tangled honey veins of sap that rise with the spring up through the long trunk of Yggdrasil. In its wood hides the shape of first man, back strong and arms lifted in branches that reach for the sun's blazing wheel while sweat-stained leaves tremble in the winds of heavy breathing. Woodland sunflowers bud and bloom at the base in a merry frenzy of dew-damp yellows, while beneath them earth wraps around the world tree's thighs as it plunges three roots deep into creation, wisdom, and hell. Gray-hooded norns dance with albescent arms bare as they shuttle the diaphanous weft of each man's width, ever forward, ever deeper, unstopping, into that still masked darkness beyond all objection, fear, and bargain, ruthlessly following the weighted warp of what may yet be. A Man's Job Thumbing the brass has left my skin foam green, with nails cracked white from the snap hook's bite while twenty knots tries to lift me up, right off the deck, a dark blue kite, face serene while my tricep burns and knee grinds the fife rail. Each flag explodes into color, wind blossom by force. The message I send climbing up the halyard until I knife the vine, snap hook it closed, and bend eights around the pin, tying off the old man's words. I garden his yard arms, feed six lines of manila flag bag seed to bloom in fates the shades of his desires, this tin can's destiny, written in handsome designs. <laughs>